Good morning. I'm back in uh, Lynchburg. I got home last night from Virginia Beach. Spent the whole weekend there. It was a lot of fun. I would have filmed more at uh, the different places that I was at. Uh, if I had had a camera and everything. Um, again, I know I keep on saying that I am going to be getting a camera and stuff, but I've just been trying to get my finances in order and stuff. But yeah, uh, the camera that I did find is about the size of a camera phone. This is the iPhone 5S. Um, and I just, I haven't um, been in the position yet to feel comfortable enough to buy a camera yet. Um, it's not super expensive, but I just, it's not a top priority. Um, not to say that this isn't a priority or anything. Definitely want to make sure that I make a wise investment. All that said, um, I definitely did enjoy uh, this past weekend. Uh, got to go to Jollibee uh, because we both love the food and uh, we miss the authentic um, Filipino cooking and stuff. I mean, she cooks all the time, but it's nice to go back to something that is in the Philippines. Um, and that's the closest one to us. It's about three and a half hours away. Um, and they're not all over the U.S. I know there's one in New Jersey where she's from in uh, New York. It was very nice to go there and uh, to be able to kind of socialize a little bit with um, the other Filipinos that are eating there and hanging out and stuff. There was a party going on and everything. And um, if you've ever been to Jollibee, then you know exactly what we're talking about. You know, like Chicken Joy number one or um, Aloha Burger, which I had. And um, to be able to get, like, the... The authentic Halo Halo was wonderful. We, we went twice over the weekend, once on Saturday and um, again last night. Um, took a friend there that, um, who lives um, in Norfolk, and she drove, she drove down um, to go see us. I also went to Lynn Haven Mall, and I'll do a haul of uh, the, the things that I got uh, from shopping and everything a little bit later. Uh, I, I'm just in a bit of a rush to get to work. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'll be uh, showing you guys a little bit more uh, what I did and what I got uh, a little bit later. But I just wanted to say hi and uh, let you guys know I'm doing all right. And um, I had a great time. And I hope you guys had a great weekend, too. Hey guys, uh, just got home from work and it's a gloomy, gloomy day as you can probably tell up there. While I'm unpacking still from the trip, I uh, wanted to kind of do a haul here. Um, that's not something I got on the trip. Let's see. I have some new sunglasses and uh, this is the case that it came in because it's express, but everything was buy one, get one half off in the store. So I got these um, and I also got some from Meg. Also got some. Uh, stuff at the Disney store because being the big Disney fan as I am, I had to stop by the Disney store. Got a nice shirt with the main mouse on it. And um, also got, uh, because I finished my collection of the Fab Five, this is lots of hug and bear, or lots so. Smells like strawberries. Right around here, you can kind of um, feel there are little beads or something in here. Maybe it's sugar, like a little pack of sugar. Um, but I can even smell it from here. It smells like strawberries. And also got a new Tsum Tsum. Because they ran out of uh, the Peter Pan ones within like two hours at the store, they got this. It's Pluto. And I also have uh, Mickey and Donald. So um, they're going to be hanging out up here. This is actually $4.95. I think they went up in price by like a dollar. Um, this one's actually like $3.95 now, but I don't know. Should I take the tag off or not? You guys should comment and let me know if I should take this um, price tag off or not. I mean, is this worth keeping the price tag on? You know, like if I wanted to sell my collection at some point, uh, would it be worth it to keep it on or not? You guys let me know, but um, that's 
that's not even it for all the Disney stuff that I just got. Um, I bought my boss mug that features the new Sith Lord from uh, the new Star Wars movie. So I gave him that today and he loved it. I'm sure you guys ever can. That's a good pants. Because I only had like one good pair of bike pants. And the reason why I decided to get these is because I'm going to be starting two new jobs soon. As I mentioned, one at Regal and one at Macy's. And it's going to be all black, basically. Like, we wear uh, black pants at the Regal and almost all black. Pretty much all black on top of whatever else we're wearing at Macy's. And so I, I was like, let me get at least two black pairs of pants that are not, like, tuxedo type. It was the producer style over at Express. We got this nice new black shirt. Megan actually helped me pick this one out. And, uh, yeah, she's, cause she's a little bit more stylish than I am, I think. So... I've been growing my style recently. I just had so many other colors and I only had like one good black shirt and I'm like, again, I need a new, uh, need another option here. We got food from Red Ribbon. If you're Filipino, um, whether Filipino in a relationship at all or anything like that, or if you just know the Filipino culture, then you know what a cheesy insect zaimata is? It's a delicious, cheesy, sweet bun. And I'm not just reading the label or anything, I know because I tasted it. Um, this is also a butter bamon, um, just another uh, butter sponge cake, actually. Uh, but we got a handful of those, and I tried each one of them, and they're really good. They're very buttery and very delicious, um, because Red Ribbon, if you don't know, is a Filipino bake shop. And they specialize in baking different goods and stuff, but they also actually make food there. I never complain about Filipino food. I've, I've tried many different things. I'm very adventurous with my food. And I was very pleased to uh, be introduced to yet another Filipino item that I love. I went to the Apple Store a couple times. The second time, I had to really get something because this part of her uh, MagSafe adapter was kind of chipping away and everything. The, the cover of the cables and the wiring was coming off. But that's about it. Yeah, it's, it's a very muggy day. Um, still just getting things done. Yeah, you know, just away for the whole weekend. I'm hoping that helps save on the electricity bill and, and the water bill and everything. Um, but I'm going to be going to the gym soon. Uh, I was supposed to have orientation today, but that didn't work out for some reason. Um, the man one of the managers said that uh, they canceled orientation today. Hopefully that'll start soon because uh, a couple days from now I'll be starting at Macy's. I'll be training and everything and just got an email about the schedule and stuff and I'm like okay well I need to start actually and be able to start um, scheduling um, for that and getting it into my own uh, routine. So just wrapping up the night. I um, got home from the gym a little early. Um, went to Chick-fil-A and everything. Got dinner there. Here's Mulan. You say hi. Yeah. And so just finished showering and everything and maybe going grocery shopping for a little bit. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but I did not actually have orientation and they got canceled. That's why I'm still here at 6.49. I'm supposed to go at six o'clock, but now I have the whole night free and I did shoulder day today. And just gonna be wrapping up the night, so thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.